Uh, hey there, we're playing Parasite Eve, uh, which just like at the last game, Mega Man Legends, this is the game I played a few years ago, and uh, we couldn't beat New Game Plus. I forget what happened. Uh, I got fucked and I decided to move on to another game, and the audio quality was awful, so I decided not to upload it so we can play through it again uh, with uh, some better audio and hopefully actually beat it. And do I have the right memory card in? Yes, this is... Because I've beaten the post-game dungeon once a couple of years ago. And that was the save file. Which is irrelevant, because we're starting over and there's no... There's no real carryover. I suppose we'll watch this intro. We can see if the audio levels are proper, because it's a pretty fucking loud cinematic, I think. Uh, hey there, hey Val, hey Diablo. Uh, but yeah, we're playing Parasite Eve. It's a work of fiction because you play an NYPD officer who does not shoot everything the second she sees it. Let's just get right in there with a new game. It actually is a tutorial, but it's quite shit and it's just all text. So, New game. This, this is probably actually going to be a pretty long one because my New Game Plus strategy is to just do New Game Plus again and again and again for free stats. And then we go to the post-game dungeon, but... going to be a little longer than our Mega Man Legends playthroughs, that's for sure.
What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Name, A. Abrea, age 25, occupation, New York Police Department, police person. But what if we were to change her name on a whim? A, 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 whoops. Backspace. Yeah, his name was Man. I'm sure his call sign's NPC. Major character in the world of Parasite Eve. I'm drawing a blank here on a funny name. I spent all my time trying to make the uh, the overlay image, which I couldn't, so we had to set a lot of black screen, and then I forgot to think up a funny name. Oh boy, what a day. Can you fit Brooklyn in? Is there enough room? There you go. That's like her. That's like her nickname at the police precinct. And that probably just offends everybody who lives in New York. Nobody calls themselves Brooklyn. That's not a real name. Brooklyn Brea. <laughs> yes, when I'm out on a date at the opera, I demand to be called by my police nickname. They call her Brooklyn despite the fact that she's from Manhattan. I don't know. I just. You're right. I'll try to have more fun. Aren't you glad you decided to go with me? Me? Man? I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. So lighten up. We're going to have a great time. You'll see. Am I in control now? I'm in control. Come on, we'd better go inside. What if I want to grab a hot dog first? It's New York. Hello, sir. Do you know where I can get a good uh, slice of pizza? Please take your seats. The show's about to start. They enjoy this show? I just might. Alright, let's go, man. He's quicker than he looks. Let's go to our seats. They've already started the first act. Already? Well, let's fucking go, dude. You asked me out. That's fine. I'll open the door. That guy's not getting any action. Now, this looks a little too loud, maybe. Oh, he's talking too fast. I'm missing the show. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that suffered after the deaths. Guard, grab her and burn her at the stake. Okay. Not so fast. Father! If you're sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. 
Edward. Have I played this before? Uh, I have. I played it quite a bit when I was younger. I'm going to turn it down a bit. It seems a little too loud. Yeah, thanks for falling right fucking on me, dude. I'm sure that guy's happy he went out like that. Oh, whoa, what the? This play's really heating up, you could say. It's weird how many people fell off the edge, but I guess I've never been set on fire. I don't know what you do. Huh. Jesus, I don't want to... Oh my god, I... Get out of here now. Ugh. He actually made the noise for me. I brought my gun with me like a respectable police officer. Freeze, NYPD. See, she didn't get shot. I would, I would have shot her if everyone got caught on fire. You'd just sprinkle some drugs on the stage. Chief would have your back. Huh? You're the only one who seems to be fine. What? You should be awakening soon. What are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. There, calling out. Not my first time playing Parasite Eve. We just gotta run around and dodge. Take this. Ha ha ha. Oh, what's happening? My body, it's getting hot. Oh. Just as I thought. What is this? What did you do to me? I guess we're done talking about it. Now, there might be a way to dodge everything in the game, but I get hit by a lot of things usually, if I remember. Our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating what? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you'll become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Brooklyn. You should know me well. What? What what is this? Hey there. What was that? Ha ha ha. See you. What, where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. I now to be fair, I shot her like ten times, but 
could have just fired one off as she was running. I think as long as it's not in the back, internal affairs can't nail you. I know she's down there. Sounds like my backup's arrived. Let's not jump down just yet. Let's go talk to the police officers. Maybe, maybe some of them brought a pair of slacks. Maybe some sneakers. Hard to fight crime in these heels. Not as many burnt corpses as you'd think. Oh, that guy got cooked. I guess we're not talking to his burnt body. Okay, that's fine. Wait, I'm a cop. I'm with the NYPD. What? Hold on. I'm going to take out my badge. Don't shoot. She keeps that on her as well. I wonder if that's, if that's that thing called spontaneous combustion? Who knows, huh? <laughs> you think we'll be on TV? Hope this becomes a TV movie or something. Let me patch you up. Thanks, homie. Hey, why don't you have any injuries? Don't ask me. That's something I want to know. Everyone's gotten burned. A lot of them probably won't make it. Ah, the fat cop. Hey, I've got the same gun. I've got bullets for that if you want. Thanks, homie. Have I ever played the classic Resident Evils on stream? I only played the, uh, the remake, the GameCube one, or the PC one. All right. It's a shame no one was my size. I could have borrowed their clothes. We'll just continue to chase this person in a cocktail dress. Was Parasite Eve 2 dog shit? Parasite Eve 2 was different, that's for sure. I know she's down there. Jump down. I'm sure my ankles will be fine. Oh, they're not fine. Look at those heels. Are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go. All right, it's the mysterious giggling child kind of video game. That girl. It couldn't be. Oh, speaking of it couldn't be, I was tempted to go with uh, Doc Girlfriend voice for the main character on this one. I don't think my throat could handle that because she talks a lot. NYPD sugar, don't fucking move. It's locked. Just a regular everyday occurrence in New York. They've large rats.
Hello? You're under arrest. Triple fireball. He's got Castlevania powers. End of the line, homie. Six ammo. I guess I just ripped it out of his tail. Jesus, did he do that to the rat? What is going on here? Got some extra crispies in here. Which I won't be calling them extra crispies in my report. I'll get in trouble. Maybe there's some slacks in here. Don't touch my stuff! Hello? You're still alive. Hold on. Let me call the paramedics. Melissa! She's a monster! Don't try to talk now. Melissa? Melissa, you mean the main actress? She probably got to Suzanne, too. You'll have to stop her. No, please. Wake up. Hang in there. Oh! Uh. Ah, some medicine. Probably some cocaine. Gives you that acting energy. It's a party drug. Uh, here, take it. Take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. You know, only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You'll have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya. Oh. Let's check for drugs. I'll have to confiscate these. It's a nice touch that I appear in the mirror, but the uh, the lockers don't update ammo. Well, you're allowed to have a gun in New York, or aren't you? Or is New York one of the places where you're not actually supposed to have a gun? No, you. Yeah, in '97, I think you just need a permit. Locked. This one's locked. Hello? Uh. A telephone. Telephones are how we save our game in Parasite Eve. I'd better notify the department about what's happened here. You save your progress? I will. Apparently I didn't put a radio in my purse, just a gun and a badge. Hello? 912? Which is the phone number, by the way, when you're a police officer. Yeah, there's our good save. One day we might get that good. Fucking the memory card's full. Fine, I'll overwrite it. Oh, fucking god damn it. Tell me something. Oh, a treasure chest. Some more cocaine. Better confiscate this. You're lucky you burned to death. You're under arrest for drug possession. I missed the bird? I got my own troubles apparently. Double rat. I don't think I can dodge double fireballs. 
Ah, oh! Right in the fucking leg. The bear leg, too. Didn't even have the fucking decency to bite my dress. Which might be for the best. This could be a rental. Level up. So it looks like our... Looks like pretty much everything but our active time went up, which is basically our battle speed, I think. Our HP is 49. Our bonus points are 13, which I think we can cash in 100 bonus points for one staff point. And of course, they had bullets in their belly. Those might be the bullets I shot at them, and I'm just a very frugal police officer. I missed the bird. It's locked. I thought I had a key. Or was it just the phone? Drop an item here? No, no, no. There we go. Oh! Hot, hot, help, help! Why would there be a parrot in the basement of the theater? Well, you're being weird. I'm just, I'll just go. It's weird, aren't you gonna turn into a monster like the rat there, homie? There you go, there you go. Now I can't interact. What is your deal, homie? I'm sure that'll sort itself out later. So that was locked. Maybe the clown had a key on him. You know, only staff are allowed to be back here. It's that clown from the dressing room. No treasure? Thanks for nothing, asshole. I can't even get to that door. Can't get the, uh, there we go, it's locked. That one's locked too, really. We're, we need to find a key. This is actually driving me crazy not having the analog stick here. Let's turn on the analog stick. There we go. It's a little more comfortable. Hey there. Where is this goddamn key? I, I want to say it's in a drawer. That's where I would put my key. Or in my pocket. This one's locked. This one, it's gotta be something about this parrot. Or do I just go in? This one's locked. Man, I should shoot some of these wooden doors. I guess I, guess I just have a 9mm. They might be very sturdy doors. You there, bird! Do I have to interrogate you? I'm gonna have to call this one in. I have a 718, suspicious parrot. On, 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 on.
What's this key? I fucking knew it. A theater key. You got a problem with that? I'm confiscating that key. It's evidence. Was there a Prima guide for this game? I guess all the PlayStation 1 games mostly had Prima strategy guides, didn't they? Merry, Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Got an 814. Mutant parrot with penis that looks like its claw. I got distracted and it hit me with it. Terrible creature. Had some cocaine in his beak. I'm sure that's safe to snort. I, I'm confiscating this. Some ammo. I have a feeling we'll be lot we'll be finding lots of ammo in America. I don't know why that burnt man had the key for all the dressing rooms. He might have been the manager. A diary? November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. It's ominous. November 17th, Monday. The cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 20th, Friday. I think I'm overdoing it. My body's getting hotter than ever for some reason. I'd better take more medicine. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through this show. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I'd better take a lot of medication tonight. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me. It looks like I'll be the lead. I better take more medication and work it. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I better shape up if I want to get through this. I better take more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key? Hmm. I better confiscate any drugs she has. Test them for purity with my nose. Ah, ammo. Yeah. You can have multiple guns in Parasite Eve, but you only just find the generic ammo, and it's a little clip... Uh, a little icon of a pistol magazine. So I like to think that in America, just for all contingencies, you carry a little ammo for each possible gun, like trail mix, and you just call it ammo. There's a rifle bullet, a shotgun shell, a couple BBs. Ah, ammo. Now, there were some doors way down at the bottom we can use the key on. Because, yeah, we can find uh, some pretty nice shit if we explore these pre-rendered backgrounds. For that reason, I'd say almost, I'd say most room server purpose. So if there's, if we don't find an item, there must be one. I want the fucking triple shot squad dead first. Whoa. Ah! So our accuracy and our damage goes down if they're outside the dome. And if we uh, kill them, we lose our turn. 
quickly. You might want to split your shots sometimes. Or reload our gun, which uh, got us locked in that animation, so I just ate a fireball. I need some cocaine, 15 out of 49. Leveling up might heal us. 53 HP now. Oh, they had cocaine. It does not heal you when you level up, so let's take some medicine. Oh, I have a... I have a baton. I don't even know where she would have put that. Ugh. I have 42 bullets. I have an N vest. It's a night vest for night time. Let's take some medicine. There you go. I feel like I could do anything. The police clubs are interesting. Uh, because they're usually shit, but... I know you can steal with them later on. So you can billy club a monster and take his item. I think an item that he normally wouldn't drop. But the range is awful. And I don't, I don't know. All I remember is one time I was playing, he's the game shark to max out the stats on the police baton and just slap the shit at everybody for fun. Now if I was treasure... I'd hide back here. No? Maybe it's a little, uh, more forgiving because you can never come back here. But there are some, uh, pretty wacky rooms later. Ah, so this should be the last door? Police? See, here we go. That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble. I'll kick it with my open toe heels and crawl right through. Ah. A weird bulletproof leotard. How convenient, it's my size. So we gain one defense, one P energy, and uh, five critical defense. So I think it's defense, magic defense, critical defense, which is either it lowers their critical chance or I take less damage specifically from a critical, I forget. And uh, the armor is complicated. We'll worry about that later. They teach us all the equipment uh, mechanics once we get back to the police station. Your inventory's full. I will replace it with some cocaine. A treat for later. Defense power plus one, which uh, we'll hang on to that for now. No, we won't. There's more items later on here. I vaguely remember the flow of the game. Thanks for doing Shadowrun as the Decker. The Decker run was fun. Uh. Because decking's insanely profitable. So, increases defensive power by one, and then we use it on the one we're currently wearing. And then. Well, to spoil it, the mechanic for Parasite Eve is you strip a stat off of an item and put it on another item, which destroys the item in the process. So, you're always trying to upgrade your item by using the remnants of your previous item. But of course there's three stats and we can only choose one to carry over so it gets a little tricky. Oh man, that splitting that shot was a bad idea. Oh boy. There we go. More ammo, which is good. Because later on we'll get uh, not pistols, you get like SMGs or assault rifles. Shotguns, which shoot ammo. Unlock the door. Hardwood floor. Nice room. Good acoustics. I'm Melissa. I'm 
No, I'm, I, I am, I am Eve. I'm, I'm getting hot. Just take some medicine. I got like five jars on me. Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? It's more science class shit. Once again, the day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. We're going to have to sprinkle a lot of drugs on her for the chief to believe us. Whoop, okay, that's your thing. She is really working that uh, dick tail thing. I don't know why she's aiming down. We're fine. We're fine. We got a whole purse full of cocaine if we get hit. Oh. Looks like you still need some time, girl. Ah, what am I doing? When she touched me and I started getting hot flashes, I think we gained the ability to heal ourselves, so I didn't need to use my cocaine. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. Weird capitals. Weird capitals. What? Where is this? Is that... Is that the little girl I saw? No, it's... That doctor. Wait. Mitochondria to be free? Well... That doesn't even look like a hole. It just looks like a burn mark. Where'd she go? Well, I guess my fucking ankles haven't completely crumpled. Oh, yeah. If this dress is a rental, the deposit's fucking done for. Yeah, do I know? Do I know Parasite Eve magic? I do, I know heal. So we don't need to waste our cocaine, we can just use magic. Got a little scuffed up, I think I'll actually use some magic right now. Ooh, not on a triple rat gangbang. There we go, if I crit, I can one-shot a rat. All right, now that it's just him, I'll heal up. I want him to fireball me first. Well, fuck you then if you're not gonna do it, dude. Oh, Parasite powers have evolved, and now I get scammed. I suppose you regenerate your, your Parasite Eve mana, so I can just cast whatever I want. So I could scan stuff, get a feel for what I'm fighting. we got this time more parrots or is it just rats down here it's everyone's favorite the hook tongued toad actually i suppose we could scan him couldn't we Ow.
Okay, looks like he just spits his tongue out in a straight line. Tell me your secrets. HP 34. Sensitive to cold, aren't we all? He's got some meat on him. Level up. Level five. I'm a level five police officer now. Nothing to be too worried about. Now this is where things get tricky. Keep an eye out for those chests. It's because they animate, so they stand a little more in the pre-rendered background, I guess. So we got an M1911A1. Someone just dropped this down the sewer. Uh, 17 attack, 60 range, six bullets between reloads. Doesn't an M1911 hold like nine or 15? I suppose it's irrelevant. The guns don't make too much sense later on. Uh, but that times three means we can shoot three times per turn if we want. So that is a good gun upgrade. What do I have right now? An M84F. The F stands for fuck you criminals. So we go from 12 to 17 with an extra shot. Not too bad. Nineteen eleven holds seven? What a weird number. You're the little girl I saw at the theater. Are you lost? No. Brooklyn, she lives in the fucking sewer. Of course she's lost. Wait, little girl, don't go through the wall. Oh, look at this. I see a treasure chest. They, like I said, they stand at a little bit. A little bit of contrast since they have to animate. That was just bullets. That sucked. Medicine. Oh, there's another one. Offense plus one. We can put that in the 1911. All right, well, let's just do some quick gun maintenance down in the sewer. Offense plus one. I'm sure she just writes plus one on the bullets. Now they hit harder. Let's go upstairs. We might have to fight again on this screen because I think it's uh, screen-based when you get into fights. So sometimes doubling back can be dangerous, or maybe not. Maybe this, maybe the dungeon's like clear until you go out and then back in. Ooh, this walkway sounds a little wet. Ooh, that's not safe. I see a treasure chest down there, but that's on the other side of that gate. Game was fun, but you didn't do post game. I'm hoping to do post game. I've done the post game once before. It's a bit of a slog, but. It's fun to get strong and beat the shit out of stuff. Or was this the treasure chest we saw when we were up there? No. Oh. That doesn't sound right. I feel like there's something. There it is. I know some of the, uh,. The side rooms like look at this this poor girl heels in a cocktail dress well better climb over this waist-high brick wall into the even deeper water there could be treasure she's a real go-getter that brooklyn or brook for short i suppose he wanted her to have a, a lady name pe defense plus one my inventory is full i will put a medicine here for an offense plus one. See, look at this. Got some pretty good stats for finding this room here. It's weird because there's the confirmation to consume it, 
but not the confirmation on what to put it on. Okay, so yeah, P energy defense is magic defense. And that'll come in handy, because I think uh, P defense would be like the green lasers that the boss shot at us, and then regular defense would be like when a uh, rat bites us. But I'm not sure if a fireball would be P energy or physical. Well, assume that it's P energy, but it's one of his basic attacks. Maybe it's not considered magic. I left the medicine in there. Well, that'll just be a treat for the hobo that goes there later. Because I did steal his gun parts. Double toad. I think if we just stay behind him, we're fine. Oh, apparently you can't touch him. It's like Super Mario. Probably a set number of jumps before they attack. Maybe three. That's the second jump. Yep, three jumps is my bet. It's a medicine. There's a switch and an emergency phone. I will press the switch. Then I will call the... Whoops. I will use the phone. Because I turned on the analog stick, it turns off the D-pad. Um, it's weird, because I think normally these emergency phones would be locked with a key, wouldn't they? Save it again just to be safe. Eve. Let me just walk closer before I shoot. It's got a limited range. Hold it right there. My body. My body's getting hot again. Ha ha ha. Brooklyn's ready to take me on just by herself. Well, even if you did have more people with you, they'd just burn, right? Everyone else but you, you are... Tell me, Eve, why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out, eventually. Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mitochondria will. They've always known. I'm going to give you some time, some time to think and some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. Ugh, everybody's clothes are just a mess down here. Well, someone thought Terminator 2 was pretty cool. Yeah, and then she'll go through the bars, make it happen. I have a feeling with your giant claws, you could have just ripped it open, but probably didn't want me to chase you. A sewer crocodile. With an electric mouth. Standard New York crocodile. There are two targets. I can't reach the other one. You really got to get close to that tail. Whoa, whoa, you got some bullet hell shit going on, huh? Well, let's just use that. Uh, we found a lot of free cocaine down here. Just start sniffing. So the tail does the bullet hell. Sorry, I had to reload there. Ow. Get the shit slapped out of me here. Ah, you shot my tail off. That's what that was.
I'm a little hurt, but we have our PE magic. I suppose I could scan him, couldn't I? What's your dealio? Ah, uh, the old RPG question mark scan. Easily tranquilized. Well, good thing I brought my horse tranquilizer. It's also sensitive to heat. Holy shit. I, that's weird because some comes out of his mouth. Are you just ignoring me? Are you playing hard to get here? Oh boy. aim for the snout. Oops. Gotta get my range up. There we go. He just melted away. Well, that'll be... That'll definitely make the police report believable. Level up. I now learn slow. Slows enemies AT recharge. Ooh, Kevlar Vest. Kevlar Vest 1. So, I think that's tricky, because usually the one turn that you would spend to slow him, you'd kill him if you just shot him. When I will awaken? Just tell me what you want, Eve. We're live in front of the Carnegie Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Miss! You're the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? I... Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please, just leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I'd like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. Uh... Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. Daniel. That man's walking sideways. Sorry, I'm late, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yes? Oh, but my date... Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran into there like a wuss. Huh. Uh, so you didn't... Date didn't go well. It's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera? There's a story. So why the opera, huh? Is that the in thing right now? Saw the ad in the paper. I don't know. Just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were onto this case. <laughs> So you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? Instinct? Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. But this is one hell of an incident, huh? Mitochondria? Mitochondria? Symbiosis? When was I in the hospital? Hey, Brooklyn, you asleep? Oh, well. Don't blame you. After what you've been through tonight? Her eyes are open, but okay. Also, I suppose there's... Some commentary there about how she remembers every single time she went to the hospital since it's so expensive. I only went to the hospital one time in my entire life. When was it? It all started with this incident. Six days that were to become a nightmare for all. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I'll never forget it. It was pure terror, but... It was also six days filled with familiar memories.
We're on day two now. Fusion. Okay. I will save my progress. I'm going to have to free up some room on the memory card or we only got the one save. Hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives, no close friends. She was sick often, always on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. So what's the spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on, what, like one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you're right, how are we supposed to do with something like that? I believe her. After all, Brooklyn's the only witness so far. But if you're going to take on a suspect like that, you'd better ask Baker for a better sidearm. Uh, I found a gun in the sewers, Daniel. I think I'm going to be fine. I read your report. Still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well prepared. Go down to the weapons department and give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. A mod permit. Well, see you, Chief. Actually, I think it's a cap, and I think the Chief is for all of New York. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? All right, so not an important character, huh? ESP, huh? all right. What about you? We're pals, right? I believe her. After, okay, a little worried that you're also repeating yourself. Ugh, what a fucking mess. Oh, hey, fellas. Can girls come in here? Ooh, high defense and strong against SA, which I think is special attack. It's got auto blue. So we'll go 13, 10, 18 to... Uh, we lose critical defense. Uses medicine when HP is low. That would save us a turn, wouldn't it? So we have plus one, plus zero, plus one, and this one's plus two, plus one, plus two. So we want, we'd want to pull the plus two off. That's weird. The Kevlar vest is actually better. Uh, I mean, like the auto medicine's kind of nice, but that'll tear through all your medicine. By the way, I hope that's my locker. Uh, nope, because I'm opening this one too. Cure pee. This is just detergent for washing pee out of your clothes. Cures and prevents poison. That makes more sense. <laughs> At last, it's mine. I don't know what that means. Brooklyn, you'd better put your vest on too. Can't be too careful. Yeah, no shit, dude. I literally wore one to the opera last night. Keep an eye out for treasure. You never know where it's hiding. The weapons department? You didn't hit your head last night, did you? It's right downstairs. Poochies. Wish I could give her a nice Christmas dinner. Is that the dog or your girlfriend that you're talking about? Any treasure here?
pretty small kennel. Seems like a small precinct to have a canine unit. Authorized personnel only. Weapons department. Your inventory is full. I would love to exchange it for... Um... A tool. It moves equip parameter or effect. That's how we uh, strip the stats off an item. This inventory is full. We'll put another medicine away. Which was just a medicine. Oops. What do we got here? Some ammo. Hey there, good looking. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy? Who knows? So what'll it be? Shotgun? Rocket launcher? Wayne. Yes, sir. Idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, sheesh. Torres, I need some equipment. For last night's case, heard was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you. But I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't send you off empty-handed. Say, you can't carry any more equipment. Wayne, take some of her things and put them in storage. Yeah, yeah. You have something to say, officer? No, sir. So you want to leave something here? Yes. I want to leave you most of my medicine. I'll leave this as well. Move. Oh, God. I got to move it over myself. Oh, we don't need the keys, do we? That should be enough room. <laughs> as long as... Cops rely on guns, so will criminals. I fought a crocodile. I fought a magical crocodile last night. Give me a fucking shotgun. This is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. An M16. That's actually pretty impressive. So what is it? I think it's pistol, rifle, shotgun, grenade launcher. But I think rifles are actually not that good. I want to say pistols are the best weapon once you get the stats up. 112 range, though. 35 attack. Only two shots, but at the same time, that means you won't get stuck in an animation for as long. Because you can get, uh, like, an MP5, I think, has six or five shots per turn, and you can get hit being stuck in the attack animation. Captain Baker already notified me. Show me your modification permit again. It was right here. Which gun? I, oh, you know, I don't know. So this is 19... 30, that's a lot more fucking damage, actually. We're going to use the rifle for a bit. I do want to take the plus four off of the... M well, actually, what we could do is we can actually strip the, the triple shot and put it on the M16. Uh, you know what? I think four attack is going to be better than an extra attack. No, that's not true. Let's grab the extra attack. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a close one. It's not moving the tools, it's adding a slot. Um, we might get some mileage out of the M16. It's hard to tell, because I forget what you see. The M16 might not be viable as long as I want. Uh, we'll open up a slot on it, though. Uh, because then we can put something else on it, like a, a, an elemental attack. There we go. All right, just wait here. All set. Kind of sounds like you just banged some belt buckles into each other, but remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. Don't tell Torres, but you can use your tool to tune up your guns. 
you can rearrange equipment parameters and added effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. Okay. Using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and added effects on your weapon or armor to create your customized equipment. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. The number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on your equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting your equipment modified at the NYPD Weapons Department. You got it? Trust me, you can never have too much firepower. Of course, can't use them without bullets, so you'd better make sure you always have your club. Just in case, you know. Now... Why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Okay. We'll put the other guns away. Oops. We'll put the other guns away for now to save space. We can come back later and strip them apart with tools. Oh, no. That's the, uh, that's the one we're going to strip down for parts, the 1911. Um, and then, which am I? I'm wearing the Kevlar vest one. Look at all that room we got now. I should probably grab some cocaine just to be safe. All right, let's tune up. Shit, okay. We picked a rifle, and then we... There we go. So we want to steal the bonus stat. Oh, never mind. You steal all three stats. Perfect. I forgot about that. So we'll steal plus one bullet in the magazine. So it's a 17 round M16. I don't, I'm not going to pretend to know anything about guns moving forward, but. Parameter will be moved and the 1911 will be destroyed. Okay. And then I want those medicines back. I guess that's a little quicker than clicking move. And you know what? I might get poisoned. All right. Well, do you want to chit-chat? Do you have any equipment modification permits with you? It's fine. There's magical monsters, but, you know, I need the right paperwork, right? Fucking idiot. Some cocaine. There's some more cocaine. There we go. Now we're in good shape. probably put it on right yeah I'm wearing my police baton right now which only does 10 damage it might be fun to make one of our new game plus playthroughs about upgrading the club or you know I suppose the club's just for stealing so it doesn't need to do damage but yeah like he said the club's for if we run out of ammo but I've personally never really had that happen if you're a decent shot you'll never run out Excuse me, young child. Hey there, you lost? Uh, Ben? Daddy! So this is Ben. Ben, this is Brooklyn. Now what are you doing here? Here. Tickets? Oh yeah, the concert. Sorry son, daddy's real busy today. I promise I'll make up for- Fine! Fuck you, old man. Ben! Guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father too after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, but you turned out weird, Brooklyn. The fuck does that mean? I like this leather jacket. the meeting room where they tell you where you're going.
Your beat is Junkieville and Bumtown. You met Daniel's son, Ben? Daniel divorced his wife last year. This was before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father, so he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt he has time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. Yeah, way to bury the fucking lead, Kathy. Wanna have a little girl talk? No, we're trying to solve, I think, about five dozen murders. Sir? I had to run over here. You need a smaller office, sir. You were looking for me? Yes, yeah, so we're having a press conference now, and I want you there, too. Me? That's right. You'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. Oh, they all died, even that guy that I dated. I see. But you only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect, so you let me do the talking. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go meet the press. So you're saying this could be the work of a terrorist? That's what we currently speculate. How about accounts of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was... That was... Oops, I skipped that. Not another question? How did Detective Brea survive without so much as a minor burn? Uh, that's a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question? She. She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. What the fuck is wrong with you? Your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa, no. She said she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had been taken over by this Eve. What's this Eve? Some kind of an alien? Please, please. She's very tired and we're still investigating. That's all for today. Brooklyn, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. That is not the point. Who's going to believe you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only... Oh, telephone. Ahoy hoy. Baker here. Who? What does he want? Well, I'll put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Meat? You'll have to speak up. Yes. What? Yes, all right. Some Japanese scientist, I think. Couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some Mito something. Says he's coming over here. Mito? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? Might have heard about that in school? That's what Eve had said. That it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey. I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. And yes, it does look like Nix's texture is that he's not wearing any fucking pants. Sir, I'm taking Brooklyn to go talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before the media. He may explain that phone call, too. Yes, sir. Come on, Brooklyn. Nix, find some pants while we're gone. I'll bring the car around. Meet me at the front. Hang on. Let me, uh, call myself and leave a voicemail. Will you save your progress? Is that a sketch of a lady at my desk? What do I do all day? Oh, 
on, 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 on. Make sure your partner finds some fucking pants, all right? All right, and try to update your script while I'm gone. You have one line of dialogue. I'll meet you up front. Hey, super hacker. What a case to have on Christmas, huh? All right, we'll see ya. Pretty small reception. Probably a smaller precinct. Welcome. Welcome to the incredible world of 1997 New York. You can go to Carnegie Hall, the museum, or NYPD number 17. How's Carnegie Hall looking? Hey, fellas. Saw you on TV. You're from the 17th Precinct, aren't you? You're the one that survived. I tell you, my holidays are ruined because of this. They better give me extra vacation days for this. What are you doing here? Uh, not my job, because I'm supposed to be at the museum. Thanks for drawing attention to it. You can't just come barging in here. You ain't getting no special treatment. All right, well, fuck all of you. Apparently, we don't get along with the other precincts. I'm pretty sure this fucking street is one lane, Daniel. Jesus. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Klomp will be there. Dr. Klomp? What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria something. But it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in a museum? Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We're gonna have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yes. Daniel, why'd you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, that was years ago. Now he's my boss. American Museum of Natural History. There's a banner of a chocobo outside. It's been a while since I visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm, looks like it's closed today. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fucking Christmas. Let's see what that security guard can do for us. Man, you need to put a fucking coat on, Daniel. Hey there, how you doing? Eh, doing okay. Pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Klomp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you. Shouldn't take long. This is pretty creepy without any people. Oops. Another dialogue skip there. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out. Ever. Thanks. Da -da 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 -da. 
Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let's just keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Brooklyn. Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebook's on the counter. Thanks. Just my name? Yep, that should be enough. Unless you want to leave your number, too. Just the name's good. Hey, just between us, the doctor's a bit, you know, just be careful. Is he on the spectrum? Is that what this is? Hey, Brooklyn. Over here. No way I'm getting over this knee-high barrier that says do not pass. It's open. Let's check it out. Excuse me? Hello? Hey, Dr. Klomp. Dr. Klomp? I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Huh. This again? What is this? This man. I know him, I think. What's wrong? You okay, Brooklyn? Yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. <laughs> you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We're here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example, the brain functions due to the interactions between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? And the combustions from last night were... For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, this hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it's relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and, in essence, dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production levels decrease. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we're the higher species? 
Yes. You're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said the mitochondria could mutate ten times faster than normal cells, I also meant they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you'd better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve. Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell's going on here. Do -do 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 -do. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. Oh, we probably could have roughed him around a little bit. 97? Well, apparently we were talking to him all day long. Speeding down the smallest street in the city again. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. It's also the straightest and longest street in the city. No turns. That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Brooklyn looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta go back to the station, Brooklyn. Hang on. I'm kicking this into turbo. Yeah, I think Japanese people underestimate the traffic in New York City. By a lot. The whole place is going nuts. Wonder what's happened. Let's go, folks. Meeting started. Okay. We've got all five police officers here. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She disappeared after last night's incident and the concert was canceled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. The concert's at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine, they're at that concert. What? Daniel, we're not done the meeting? Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Daniel. Brooklyn. Watch his back. Yes, sir. This mod permit will come in handy, thanks. I'm sure he'll wait in the carpool, sorry, the motor pool, while I go downstairs. Keep the engine warm, Daniel. I just need to disassemble my M16 and do some work on it. it. Won't take more than a minute. The problem is, is I don't even want to. I don't even know if I want to use the mod permit right now. You know what? I don't. When are you gonna let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day. You know, as long as you see guns and toys, you'll never touch them. 
Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you dumb skull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. Do you just get forced to work in the weapons department if you grow a ponytail? Is that what this is? Yeah, I actually don't want to mod my guns, so we'll just put them on permanent away for now. I could do it so much better. I could turn that gun into a cannon. Easy. You want to leave something here? I do. God damn it. The analog stick's better for walking around, but I think the D-pad's better for the menu. Get out of the fucking way! Oh, luckily nobody's out today in New York. Very common. What the hell does Melissa Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Damn, that thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. Central Park, which seems to be in a depression. Doesn't seem to be level with the rest of the city. Ben! Daniel, stop! I gotta get my boy, Rookie. Holy shit! Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but... I'll get them out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do any good if you're dead. Alright, I'm counting on you, Brooklyn. I know. Let's check the trunk for some sweet cop shit. No? No shotgun? What about in this one? Well, kinda. Just a treasure chest next to the trunk, but... Let's take a little break here. Radio in. If I can... There we go. Call the police station, let them know what's up, and then I'll step away for a moment here. I see a treasure chest right there, actually. Do you see it? It's in these trees here. I know there's a lot of treasure chests in this park. That's just cocaine. Better confiscate it. We're gonna fight some chuds. Well, let's see how this M16 goes. It's a really long range. Oh, you brought a friend. All right, looks like she takes a second to line up the shot, so that's the problem with the rifle. Well, it looks like when she starts. When she starts blasting, it's a decent attack speed, but... 
does take longer for the animation to begin than the pistol. So I feel once you can really start just dumping stats into stuff, the pistol's superior. Uh, or maybe an SMG. Keep your eyes peeled for treasure chests. There's a baby one. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. There's another baby chest there. Oh, I'll grab this one though. An M9. Ammo six. Can I go over here? I can't. Central Park Zoo. Oh, sorry, can't go that way. There's a little snowbank. Darn. Wouldn't want to slip and fall, actually. These paths look pretty fucking slick. Break my collarbone and sue the city. Central Park Crows. Keep your distance, which might actually encourage them to not attack. Some junk. We use junk. I forget. We need 500 junk, I think, for something. We'll worry about that on New Game Plus, obviously. I remember specifically grinding the junk out here in Central Park. Is that a telephone? I just used a fucking telephone. Hello? Zoo Inspector? Eve was here. My inventory's full. Well, fuck me. I have full health, I can't even use the medicine. It's a vest in case you get attacked by a gorilla or something. 2215-19. Light and very durable, actually. Oh, that's right. I think the different kinds of armor actually affect your combat speed. So like that, uh, the leotard, I think, really slows you down. Hey, Mumrick. Oh, this is actually better in every way. Light and durable? Oh, no, light and very durable armor. Talk about a no-brainer. And uh, these other cabinets are inaccessible. Right? Oh, 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 no, I can't. I don't even know where you're supposed to be. All right, boomerang hand, you're fucked. Oh, that's right, we know how to slow things, don't we? I suppose if you get the drop on them and you have your turn right when the battle starts, you could slow one. But I still feel you're better off just blasting. The NYPD special. I actually, I suppose that's the LAPD special is to just blast away. I need a key. My mistake. 
this fight because we left the screen is back. It's that weird boomerang fella. I want to. Oh shit! There's two of you. Oh, they can hit the whole fucking screen, huh? Well, I want to scan you and see what your dealio is. Huh. 57 hit points. That is it. So it looks like he just don't want to be on his boomerang side. There's some ammo for our trouble. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about the... The attack speed on the M16. We get a treasure chest for our trouble. With a tool. I uh, might be able to just bash down that pistol with it. It's we go down to the tool here. Uh, I mean, we could grab the triple shot, which I think I'm pretty sure it's your attack power is divided amongst all the shots. So more shots isn't necessarily better. But in this case, I do want triple shot on my M16. Or do I just want to grab all the stats off my vest? I think I just want the stats off my vest, actually. A little extra defense. I want to say defense is uh, better than offense. We need that key to get into the bird place. What are you, snails or something? Ow, oh, poison gas snails, I'm poison. Maybe bait out the gas. Oh, he's got a tentacle attack, everybody's favorite. Holy shit! Huh. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> that is a strong fucking poison. Wowie. I need to level up and learn antidote. I think I learned antidote. Holy hell. Yeah, thank god, there's detox. Removes the effects of poison. That was fucking scary. That door's just for show. That door's painted on. Never found that bird key. Maybe the key was in there with the uh, the vest and I missed the drawer. Oh, hello? Ammo 15. Two bats and a boomerang, kid. That's it.
You go for a slash every time after the boomerang? Interesting. Yeah, our inventory's gonna fill up and we're gonna have to start throwing away junk. Which is a shame, because we do need a lot of fucking junk. But like I said, we can worry about our new game plus. I want to say the key's in here somewhere, because I think we just go out into the, the forested part of the park next. There you go. Well, yeah, it's right next to the vest. Oh shit. I'd probably just heal up here, save some medicine. There's another level. We're level 10 police officer now. See what's inside that birdnasium here. My guess is uh, birds. Snakes! Well, I look stupid. Ah, uh, these might be poison snakes too, but... Um, we do have detox now. And trapped a little cocaine for us. There are many types of rainforest snakes. Some are poisonous, but most are not. Look for the brown monkey, one of our many playful rainforest friends. The giant worms of South America are very important to the rainforest ecosystem. Is the boomerang guy a monkey? Okay, Med oh, medicine too. Crack cocaine. Cure P. Defense plus one, that's a good find. So it should be, uh, yeah, the, well, I guess I wouldn't say it's a trail. It's a pretty well-paved path, but we're leaving the zoo, I believe. Which is weird that when we came in, there was a bit of fanfare, you know, like a big gate, welcome to the zoo. And then there was just a hole in the wall, and then we're out here. All right, well, keep your eyes peeled for treasure, because there's a fucking bunch out here.
So it looks like if you get close enough to the bird, he just starts pecking. So you run away. Oh boy, I think that snake's got my number. Nope, we're fine. Um, yeah, we can just throw the junk away whenever we get full. We're actually already full and there's going to be a bunch of treasure out here, so let's just toss it. I have 132 bullets. I guess actually it's not very many when you think about how much stuff you fight, but so many things drop ammo, we do have a lot. If I was a treasure chest, I'd be hiding back here. Oh, I guess that's why I'm not a treasure chest. What the fuck? There's one. Ammo 15. Hello? Well, there's another way into the zoo. I don't remember that one. Hello? Birds and snakes? Snakes and snakes. Got another level coming my way soon. So one thing we could do because we're accumulating these bonus points. We could buy more combat speed. The problem is you can't access that stat with a tool. So if you put your bonus points in battle speed, that won't carry over to subsequent playthroughs is the problem. But maybe we should just grab some combat speed to get us through this first playthrough. But I think it's 100 points for one staff point. So we wouldn't be getting too much combat speed. I think it might be a good idea though, because I think in my very last playthrough I dump it all into combat speed, because that's the playthrough we do the post-game dungeon on. But the in-between playthroughs we dump all our bonus points into uh, item stats. There's a level. Yeah, we technically only have two bonus points at 250. Heal 2 restores 60 HP, the magical version of crack cocaine. snake first, I think. Run right through him and try to bait out the melee attack. More junk. All of the animals have escaped. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit of old news there. I've been shooting for the last 15 minutes. This burnt bodies taking up half the sidewalk. There's no way I can get past.
What's this? Nobody's weirded out by the monster that's here to sing. This Christmas will be the most special of all. Ah. Special because I'll no longer be under the control of a host, as I have since the dawn of time. Humans are weak. Mitochondria can self-evolve. Mitochondria must now take over the nucleus. Since the dawn of time? You were in that one lady. You haven't been around since the dawn of time. The people become goo. Goo that she can control. I have to get backstage and stop her. Yeah, fucking a little late. A little late to stop her. You could have been popping off shots right as she started giving her speech. What's that mysterious giggle, baby? Always a good sign. Yeah, backstage. I would have never figured it out without your help. Why? Why are you doing this? You again, but you're too late. You'll not ruin my plans as you did last night. See it. Stop. Ha, oh, jeez. Captain Baker's gonna have my badge for this one. We lost our slightly mysterious Central Park music. Now we have our ominous Central Park music. Get out of the fucking way. I see treasure. Oh, that's sneaky. They show you from the one angle and then they move it. Ammo 15. Ah, uh, there. Oh, there was one. My inventory's full, not for long. Put a medicine in there. A revive. Ooh. That goes off on its own, right? Yeah, it restores life when you die, so. If I would get game over, instead, I just get back up. Which is good, because you're alone in the entire game, so. Oh, a telephone. I mean, are you ever truly alone if you can call the precinct and tell them what happened? Hello? A polar bear. Well, you can finish your call first. I don't want any trouble. Ah, an electric polar bear. Just like real life. Let's hit him with the slow. You had your chance to make a call, then you fucking started shooting lightning bolts. Only three shots. See right there, maybe I shouldn't have slowed him. It seems you want to get right on top of him to bait out a swipe, because the lightning was too hard to dodge. And I see a treasure chest over here. Ammo 50. There's a lot of ammo. I guess it's better to uh, find ammo than run out of ammo and have treasure that's worthless. I will save my progress. Because the, uh, the Opera House boss was kind of a gimme. The bosses start to get a little tricky. Could I radio in, please? The phones all seem a little offset for where you interact with them.
So if the kid runs the right way, that means treasure's the opposite way. Man, it would be a pain in the ass to shovel all this. Because Central Park's pretty big, isn't it? Well, hello? A tool, perfect. I want to say we can steal tools from something, but I might be mistaken. Of course, you just go do New Game Plus and you can get all the tools all over again. I'm sure they have snowblowers in Central Park? Well, what about before we had snowblowers? Someone had to shovel all of this. Defense plus one, that's a good one. Hello? Oh, this is a bad place to be fighting. I want the poison one first. Ooh, ah, oh, they're both poison. I think I fucking tricked myself. Even after I read the warning in the, uh, the Central Park Zoo. Eat one of those medicines right away, because I'm swimming in them. I think this is a polar bear fight. I remember this screen. Remember, we want to get close. That'll hurt. The swipe should hurt less than the lightning. Or if he just touches you, there's a stuff bird's fucking everything up on me. Oh, I didn't know you got one of those. Let's maybe take our chances with the lightning. The slow does seem pretty useful for the bears. The hell were you assholes guarding on me? The SV vest? With a pocket? 1814 19. Let's compare that to our current base. Twenty fourteen eighteen. It's actually the only thing it's missing is base defense. Twenty fourteen eighteen. Yeah, I think it's worth it for the pocket. I guess we would have been in the exact same predicament. Uh... Oh, this is a different screen. See, so now the problem is, is we have to choose between the stats or the pocket. And honestly, the pocket's not that great. Like, the pocket's not worth ditching raw stats, so... We'll actually grab the stats next time. That's, that's the approach I'm going to go with. I always try to preserve the stats, even though I actually just didn't, but... Well, we didn't... That, that, that's not true. We did preserve the stats. We just uh, lost the, the higher base. I think we've got everything in Central Park, for the most part. 
Suprema strategy guide might disagree, but... This game had two sequels. Parasite Eve 2, which I never... Oh, sorry, Parasite Eve 2 I did play, and then Parasite Eve 3rd Birthday I didn't play because it was fucking weird looking in more ways than one. For some reason, Japanese game developers have this weird thing where they get sexually attracted to their female game characters, and then the franchise gets a little wacky. Hello? Monsters? That's a lot of birds. I can't bait out the pecs when there's this many of you. I'm actually going to heal on the last one. Oh shit, I know heal too now. I think that heals for 60. Oh, heals weaker than a medicine. That's a nice touch. So I can heal for 30 or 60. Um, actually, yeah, we'll do that. Level up! Oh, there's our third bonus point. That's a lot of junk. Yeah, the birds are great for junk. Uh, which we turned in for, I think, super weapons? But that's really only viable post-game. New game plus shit. snakes and bears. These are poison, remember, so we'll have to use a cure P. I was about to say, I might be able to outrange the lightning, but he's getting too close. Let's slow him. Oh, boy. Ah, that barely hurts. Lightning's actually better than getting slapped. ammo. I think our ammo crate goes up to 999. For the most part, ammo's not a problem, like I mentioned earlier. You gotta be really outclassed to chew through ammo quicker than it drops. Those are monkeys, supposedly. Oh, I am trapped against that wall. Some of the collision's a little... not what you'd think it would be. Oh, gotta reload there. Only seven damage. That doesn't instill confidence. I got another level coming in. Uh, well, I think you end the game pretty early. I think you end in like the high 20s, early 30s level wise. It's not a super long game, so it is kind of like Mega Man Legends in that sense. More New Game Plus stuff, though. Magic defense up. Regular defense up. It's 
Let's go upstairs. There's no other treasure hiding here, right? I think you can usually see the treasure from at least one of the camera angles. They never really hide treasure too much on you. I thought I heard a weird noise there. It's probably just her on bricks when normally she's on snow. Those roads blocked off. Why don't we just come this way, Daniel? Oh, it's this fucking poison. Oh, Christ. Poison Pete and the whole gang is here. Or they just tentacle whip you if you don't want to breathe in their farts. Ow. I think you gotta be really far away from their nose to dodge those. Really, you gotta be behind them. It's crazy. One more level might be nice. Might be able to squeeze one out. Because I think there should be a phone downstairs and then we're at the boss. I don't remember my way around these dungeons, but I remember like when the bosses show up for the most part. Which is good, because that'll help us plan a little bit. Yep, there was nothing there. We got that treasure. I want to say we missed something wacky, but... You can come back to Central Park. I think you can come back to everything. Actually, you no, know I think you can even go back to the sewer. I don't think you get locked out of anything now that I think about it. But here we go. One last fight, and then we're at the boss. That works perfectly. Ooh, I don't want to get fucking poisoned, though. Very tight quarters if he fucking farts on us. All right, and then we can just heal up on this guy. I think it's something like the more magic we cast, the slower our magic regenerates, but there's a trick where if you switch your armor that, uh, that resets. Which I don't think we'll really need to abuse, but it might come up. Use PE to absorb damage, that'll come in handy. Don't need to heal if you never get hurt. Get a 726. Lightning Polar Bear escaped. Oh, and a uh, 546. That's a Poison Hentai Snail. Uh, this paperwork's gonna kill me. I saved it in case the monsters also kill me. Here we go. It's the giant South American worm critical to their jungle ecosystem. Okay, so they shoot a rock that triple shots. Uh, more than triple shot. It's a star shot. I really gotta stop shooting them right before they toss the rock. Ah, see, I, I was hoping that he was gonna be an idle worm, but see, some some don't shoot a rock when they jump out. Oh, oh, uh -huh. I got him with the one. 
So it looks like when they're in the corner, they shoot the uh, cone shot. And when they're in the middle, they shoot a... Oh, no, you don't. Well, I'll just heal if I have some spare time. No, never mind. I'm not sure what makes it uh, the different kinds. I'm just going to go for it. Not doing too bad since we have heal magic. I want to try to kill one right away when he pops out here. Didn't work out. Nothing a heal two can't fix. Yeah, look at how slow that man is coming in now. Okay, so yeah, you basically can only heal yourself so many times is what they were aiming for. Oh, he's got some meat on him. Well, I think he's all meat. Don't think they have any bones. Holy fuck, I am not good at dodging those. All right, just one biggie left. That's only one thing we got to dodge. Oh, you're right over there. Okay. Oh, we're done spitting. I know what that attack was. He was going to hit the ground and sweep the whole arena. But we just killed him instead. Take that second boss in the game. Close one. Nothing to be too proud about. A lot of defense, though. It's almost like a free level up. And then, but now we don't have... Well, hang on. So, supposedly... Uh, you can't do that if uh, you only have one vest, I guess, is the trick. We'll have to try that later, though. Apparently, if you swap armor, the bar resets, which puts you in good shape for the next battle. Or if you're just casting heal way too much. How am I doing for... Not just a second, Eve. I'm checking my health. I have 132. I'll take one medicine. Are we going on a romantic carriage ride? Your genes are stronger than I thought. Come, my dear. Let's go for a ride. Ha ha ha. Huh. I suppose I could shoot you, but okay. Apparently, I am one of the seven stupidest cops in New York City. Oh, I need to reload my gun. Oops. Well, I got bigger problems right now, apparently. Why? Why be on the human side? Why not? I'm a human. Why are you going with them and not me? Is that horse okay? This is a real shitty arena. I'm not even sure if you can dodge her that well. I suppose we could do this. We can bury her up for a bit. Actually, I don't think this absorbs damage. I think this is just less damage. Are you going to do anything? Eh, maybe if I stay in the corners, we'll be okay. Nope, she doesn't seem to aim where I am. No target. She's around here somewhere. I 
So the barrier absorbed zero. I'm so I'm not sure barrier just conveniently timed out or if it just absorbs a single hit. But you know, I'm surprised how little damage we took there. Obviously the barrier absorbed the one hit, but we dodged everything else. Seems you still don't know who I am. Well, if you don't know, your mitochondria will. That's why you were drawn to the opera. Good thing I put away my high caliber rifle. This 9mm pistol should be enough to stop her. What are you talking about? Here, let me explain. Directly. Oh, okay, I'll let you touch me. Stop it! If we join forces, all the other mitochondria in the world will- Stop it! That's my swimsuit area. Whoa! I got electrocuted by a polar bear and a large worm shot spikes at me. I was uh, bitten by a poisonous snake and a monkey man threw his detachable boomerang arm at me. Uh, but I hit my little head, so I blacked out on that fight. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, answer me. Did I have a walkie-talkie this whole time? Daddy! Ben, weren't you going to the concert? I came here with Mom, but she, she was all weird. Was she strung out? What do you mean, Ben? I came with Mom so the three of us could be together. So that's why you came to get me. Mom went to the stage, but she freaked out. What do you mean, Mom freaked out? Did her breath smell funny? I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mom wasn't herself, Dad. She left and everyone else went too. Lorraine. She died doing what she loved, being drunk at an outdoor concert. Casualties were much worse this time. We cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy any longer. We have orders to evacuate all citizens out of Manhattan. Fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. <laughs> That's not fucking true. What do we do, sir? We'll stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we leave it to the army? Where are the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city? Any word from Brooklyn? Damn it, where could she be? Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm going to go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He's lost Lorraine. He'll find Brooklyn. You two help with the evacuation. Daddy! Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Brooklyn. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she's the only one that can fight the thing that hurts her mommy. Kath, look after the kid, will ya? I will, don't worry. Daddy. Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. It's highly unlikely that the dog would be at the 17th precinct. Can I show this boy the dog? Sure, let me open the fence. Hey, you got a visitor. This is Shiva. Hey, I think she likes you. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Oh yeah, that cop's dead. Hmm. 
New York City is abandoned. The criminals definitely wouldn't stay behind and loot the fucking place. Not a chance. How many times do I got to tell you? We blocked this off. You won't even find a cat on this street. Japanese man. I told you, I've already contacted the police about this matter. What? Uh, I'm not getting anywhere with my English. Hey, you Chinese? No, I'm Japanese. Nanda, Nanda Nihonjin Desuka? Oh, yes, can you speak Japanese? Choto Dake Ne, Dere Desuka? I am Kunihiko Meida, Japanese, uh... Oh, jeez. Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. <laughs> Calm down, take it easy, man, it's bad for your heart. I'm getting... I'm hot. Help! Ah! That's where racism gets you. Spontaneous hu human combustion. I believe that's correct. gotta be a shitty way to go because you catch on fire from the inside out. It's not like they can stop it. Huh? Where? Hospital? So, the TV has electricity but they're heating the room with an oil drum. Oh, you're finally awake. I don't think that's how they do things in Japan. Who are you? I'm Kunihiko Meida. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. So, wait. Daniel found me or that Japanese fella? Daniel! There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? Uh, ben was okay, but... The rest of the audience? Well, they just disappeared. Disappeared? You mean they weren't ignited? They all melted into slime and became one big mass. That's something new. Nothing like that happened in Japan. Japan? A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan, although it wasn't as grandiose in scale as this one. What? Hey, give us the details. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientist named those cells Eve. Eve? The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? She, the being who mutated from the liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. Okay. So anyways, after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl and Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this and went to his lab so that I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. 
So he conveniently found out about this and then caught a plane immediately. Brooklyn, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside of me felt like it was being... You felt you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... Well, she's the only one that isn't affected. What? I... I don't understand. I think I may be a monster. Like her. What? What are you saying, Brooklyn? I don't know. But what if I end up killing you? Ah, shut up. You know that's not... Please, Daniel, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Please go away, just, just stay away from me. Brooklyn. Please! Yes, I understand your point. Where do you think you're going? Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. I could never forgive myself if I killed you. I think we've known each other for a year. Brooklyn, you're no monster. You're my best partner, Brooklyn Brea. I'll be by your side always, Brooklyn. When I touched Eve, that feeling, was it Maya? Maya died in a car crash with Mom. No, it just couldn't be. There was a treasure chest there. We're on day three. Remember in the intro, she said that it took six days to deal with all this shit. We're not quite halfway through because the days got longer, but we're making good time. I'd say it's a fun game, Krieg, but uh, most of it is about the story, so if you know the story, that takes a bit of the fun out of it, although there's also a lot of New Game Plus playthroughs for the optional dungeon stuff you can do. Well, the oil drum burnt out. I better go. Thirty ammo. All right. Well. Yeah, they seemed really worried about the player running out of ammo. They could have just given you infinite ammo. That was a long night. Sleep well? Did you sleep in the snow in your shitty office uniform? You were there all night? I told you to go away. You could have died, you know. Well, it's not like I can go to a fucking hotel. They evacuated the city. Scientists can't believe anything without proof. It's just one of those things. And besides... What? Oh, nothing. Beep, beep. Daniel? Check out this 1997 police car model. No traffic. This is the way it ought to be around here. 
Daniel, how are you going 90 miles an hour earlier? So what are we sitting around for? We've got work to do. Daniel, thanks. All right, we're going to need some bigger weapons. There's a gun shop over there. Let's stock up. Right, because we're in America. It's on the corner. I believe there's a pharmacy over there. One step at a time. We're going to do it the American way first. By the way, if we're grabbing shit, I need to free up some inventory space, don't I? How'd you guys get over here first? Get rid of these medicine ones. And we got way too many cure peas. Holy shit. For how infrequently we got poison there. We can also just use detox, remember, so... There we go, and we had that revive, so we were never really in danger. There's only a few revives in the game, so hopefully you don't use them up too early. You can save them all for the final battle. They weren't kidding when they said they sell guns here in America, were they? It's Sam's Gun Shop, buy, sell, trade. This is it. We'll help ourselves to some ammo. It's locked. Out of the way, Brooklyn. Daniel, no. Sorry, but it's the only way. Are you really a cop? Yes, white people are allowed to be cops, as well as black people in America, Maida. Jesus Christ. We think so, but we don't have scientific proof, if that's what you're asking. Are you really a cop? My fucking god. Are you really a scientist? Go ahead and pick your favorite accessories, ladies. Range plus one. Not the best boost, because you can just steal range off assault rifles mostly. Bullet cap plus one, which I don't really see the appeal of that stat either. It's mostly just attack up. A little range in case it's got shit range. A tool for rearranging. Is that a, a hunting shotgun? Oh, a Sterog. Now that's a nice gun. I got the shitty police issue M16. Ooh, see, there you go. An M11 machine gun. Five shot, though. We'd want to put like a two shot on it or a three shot. Base 32, is that better than the M16? We want bases, remember. Base 34. The M11's a little bit better, but I think it's a little bit faster. Good range, got, it's got more range than the M. Nope, it, the M9's better in every way. Well, not every way, it's got really shit base. Damage. And then what is this here? Random rate of fire, right. So it shoots five times, but it shoots random things. A club too, which lets us steal items finally. Only clubs can steal though, so we gotta always use that. And then ammo 15. Oops. This is just too much. It's it's like, should we take some from these weapon cases? These look really nice, Daniel. No, only the wooden boxes on the ground, Brooklyn. We're not thieves. Oh, I can get back here. Nothing back there, but it's kind of neat. No cash register. I suppose the camera angle is hiding that because, oh, the cash register is right there. It's a weird place to put the cash register. I think that's all the gun shop stuff. We're off to the pharmacy now. The club's a nice pickup, although I'm not sure what things you steal from. I'll probably just double check that off camera. Revives, tools, mod permits, stat ups. Those are the only things we care about. Just, I don't think you really need to steal medicine. But you can heal yourself. And then, you know what, if we get a little too magical, I think I will carry around a spare vest so we can try that uh, mana drain reset.
Ugh, just the smell of this place gives me the creeps. It's just a pharmacy. So many types of medication, they all seem so strong too. Yes, things are a little different in America. Let's go. The door's broken. Do I get party members? No, it's just the one character in this game. I want to say I'd show you, but we'll probably call it a night here before we get into another fight. What's up with him? All of a sudden he's a happy camper. I won't ever understand those scientist types. It's funny because he makes a big deal about it. He's like, oh, look at all this medication. But in Yakuza 0, we know that in Japan, you can just go to a health food store and buy, like, medicine-laden energy drinks. Another revive? That's a good one. If we can find something that we steal revives or full revives from, we'll be in great shape. A medicine 2. That's crack cocaine. Cure M for stiffness, which does start to come up on day 3. So not only are there boxes, but some of the shelves have stuff too. And this is important, this is another one of those sneaky things I remember. Oh, there's more treasure in here. Critical evasion by two. Oh, huh, I wonder if you just outright dodge it if it's going to be a crit, if it reduces their crit chance. 2%, so I guess if you have 100 crit, they can never crit you. Okay. Yeah, so we have to decide between the M11, which I don't think we want. Hit the whole screen is really shit. And then five shot on an M16 is going to be awful because we'll be trapped in the attack animation too long. See ya, man. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do here. How many tools do I have on me? Just the one? I guess we'll probably just pry the stats off the M11. It's got too many bad stats on it. Too many attacks, and uh, random target is complete shit. It shoots really fast is the thing. That's the nice thing about machine guns and the SMGs, is it shoots really fast. Uh, but So if you can get an, uh, an SMG and strip it down to like double shot or triple shot, it very fast turns, good target acquisition. It's about time to stop, though, so we are going to call home and uh, pick up next time. I'll just tell them that there has not been a robbery at the pharmacy. That was a false alarm, and they should not send anyone to investigate. Two hours, 37 minutes, and we're on day three of six. We're in Soho. Do one last lap. I'm pretty sure there's no shit on the walls here. Yep, yeah, looks like we grabbed everything here. We've been grabbing most of the sneaky chest. We may have missed a few, but... We're in great shape to finish this first playthrough and be started on our next playthrough next time. So thanks for coming out to watch and I hope to see you next time with uh, more Parasite Eve. Until then.